This is Crystal Fenn with MedPage Today in Orlando at the American College of Cardiology meeting, where researchers have reported that renal nerve ablation may dramatically improve refractory hypertension. Researchers led by Dr. Henry Crum of Monash University in Australia presented these findings from a small proof of concept study at a press conference here. The target of this uh, technique, which I'll tell you about, is the renal sympathetic nerves, and these seem to be intrinsic to the hypertension disease process. It turns out that these nerves run adjacent to the main renal artery, and this is an anatomical relationship which has been, I guess, exploited by this catheter-based approach. So the catheter is placed uh, via a percutaneous femoral artery approach into the distal portion of the main renal artery and what's called radiofrequency ablation, which is a technique which is routinely utilised in, in cardiac diseases, particular diseases of conduction. Uh, this energy um, which disrupts the nerves is, is applied. It's, a, it's a, a process where the catheter uh, following the initial application distally is, is continually pulled back and circumferentially rotated within the artery so that by the end of it there's four to six applications and then the other kidney is, is done. The study suggested that this novel technique is both safe and effective, Dr. Crum said. Of the 45 who did go ahead with the procedure, firstly in terms of uh, safety, we saw no complications whatsoever of the radiofrequency approach. And in particular, and as you would imagine, the biggest concern would be stenosis or narrowing of the, uh, of, of, of the main renal artery where, where, the, where the catheter uh, had been sitting. And we followed that with uh, either direct angiography or various uh, imaging assessments out to six months and, and saw absolutely nothing. So that was the safety side. The efficacy side, we assessed with office blood pressures and we found a, an early, i.e. a one month reduction in blood pressure that was significant for both systolic and diastolic. That was then sustained and actually increased out to 12 months. And the, Average reduction uh, out to 12 months was around 25 millimetres of mercury for systolic blood pressure. Uh, remembering that this is on top of the background therapies these patients were receiving. So, so these were uh, very sick, hypertensive patients, sick in terms of their blood pressure elevation. They had uh, starting blood pressure in the, in the 170s for systolic and over 100 diastolic on three or more medications. In fact, it turned out to be um, a mean of 4.7 medications on average. So uh, getting a 25 millimetre reduction, I think, uh, exceeds that of um, a pharmacological strategy and, of course, is on top of uh, all the pharmacological strategies that could be applied. While further study is needed to confirm that renal denervation is effective and safe long term, the blood pressure reduction in the short term was impressive. In Orlando at the American College of Cardiology meeting, I'm Crystal Fend, MedPage Today.